This clip will give you a short overview of the Office button. The Office button is located in the upper left corner of the Microsoft Office system programs. When you click the Microsoft Office button, you can see the same basic comments available on the file menu in earlier releases of Microsoft Office to open, save and print the document. However, in the 2007 Office now available, such as prepare and publish. The comment prepare contains many different possibilities to finish a document. The comment properties enable you to view and edit document properties such as title, author and script. To inspect document, you can check the document for hidden metadata or personal information. Make sure you save the document first because changes can be undone. With strict permission, you can grant full access while restricting their ability to edit, copy and print. With added digital signature, you can sign the document to ensure the integrity of the document. With mark this document as final, you can make it read only and the last comment run compatibility checker it's running a check if the document can be opened with MS 2000. The comment end adds the document as attachment to an email faxed by the internet. The comment publish enables you to insert the document into a web blog or you can share the document by saving it on a public server. In addition, you can allocate the document as a website in the internet. This document can be synchronized with the original document every time. Another important button is the Word Options button. There you can find all the options to just Microsoft Office. Now I want to continue with the Home tab. With the home tab. I want to give you a short overview of the first tab. The home. You can see it on the upper side of the document in this stripe, which is called ribbon. Well, as I already mentioned, is home one of the tabs which the ribbon consists of. Each tab consists of groups within the individual tasks with the individual tasks and its subtasks. And finally, there are the comments. To start with the first group clipboard, it consists of the comments format, data, copy, cut, and the task page. If you click on the arrow beneath page, you get a list with different possibilities to paste the option. The second group is font. There you can change the font art, font size, color, and all the things concerning font. If you click on the small arrow in the lower right corner, a dialog box will appear. It consists of two tabs. Here you can make some additional adjustments like scale and spacing. The third group's name is paragraph and contains all comments concerning paragraph, line spacing, alignment, bullets and numbering and indent. If you click on the small arrow in the lower right corner, a dialog box with three tabs will appear where you can make more adjustments like pagination, formatting expectations, or line break and corrective spacing. The first group is styles, where you can change the, the style of your text, especially your font. The fifth Group is editing and consists of the comments find, replace and select. There you can find and replace and select text in your document. The last group is data shoots and it's not available in all Microsoft Office system programs. <coughs>